the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, my we're really eager, which is also my vestry report. So if any of you were really eager when you got the report yesterday and read through it all, I commend you and thank you and tell you that you may be hearing again the words that you read then. But it is requirement that I read out my report and I thought this is a good time to do it because as we gather for our vestry today, our readings, I feel, support and give us many things to draw upon. The gospel for the day is a collection of wisdom sayings from Jesus as he preached from the people. Now, some of these sayings seem obvious, like the fact that the student is not above the teacher, but if he trains hard enough that he too can become a teacher. This seems to make sense. And then there are a few pieces here that I wish to object to, like the fact that Jesus states that bad fruit comes from bad trees filled with thorns and bramble. I think I think this because my mind immediately went to summers I spent as a youth berry picking in the wilds. And even if I'd either have to go long sleeve and sweat, or I would just go out in t-shirts and get my arms covered with scratches as I picked wild raspberries and blackberries off the bushes. And I thought to myself, well, even thorn bushes can produce some good fruit some of the time, which I thought is good news. That, and I feel that somehow this is gospel too. That no matter what, how good we, but no matter how bad people are, they can still sometimes produce some good fruit too. And then there are wisdom sayings that I just possibly cannot object to. Like the fact of the saying that it's much easier to criticize and point out specks in other people's eyes than it is to really go deep and self-acknowledge what the sin is in our own lives and how it might be blinding us and preventing us from moving forward. When I hear these words of Jesus, I am deeply humbled. And I think it's always good then to take a step back and assess where we're at. I'm at my nearly one year anniversary with you here at the Parish of St. Bede's. It's been a great year, and a year I entered into joyously. But truthfully, I will say that as I transitioned from a multi-staff appointment, there were three priests on staff, five honorary priests assisting, as well as a lay um, team of three non-paid sta clerical staff, to getting to wear all the hats at once, I've had moments of feeling that all the visions and dreams I've entered into are going to have to take a little bit longer to accomplish than I had hoped for. That said, one of the great joys that I have experienced this past year is that in this place there are so many devoted and faithful and patient people. I have truly felt your prayers for me over the past year, and I really appreciate it. This is a really faithful congregation, and the love of Jesus and of his word is truly palpable here. When Jesus spoke to those who follow him to listen to his voice, Jesus compared them to a builder. He said, I will show you what someone is like who comes to me, hears my words, and acts on them. That one is like a man building a house who dug deeply and laid the foundations on rock. And when a flood arose, the river burst against that house, but it could not be shaken because it had been well built. I have seen strong evidence of the foundation of your faith by the risks that you took to bring me on full time, the belief that I see within yourselves as members of this congregation, and for this church being built for a purpose, and in the ministries having a purpose and a, a place to go to. Some things I've been especially moved by have included the fact that the connection between so many parishioners here, so many parishioners have to one another here. I'm always impressed as I know that you reach out to those who are not here and present and you check in with one another. 
I've been very impressed by the special offering that the parishioners have contributed to enhance our building and services over the past year. This is above and beyond our weekly offering, as we have set out, as you will hear later in our meeting, to improve the facilities in the actual building. I've really been inspired by the nurture and religious education our children get on Sunday morning. Not only are they getting a good overview of the scriptures each week, but our kids love being here. And they seem to have fun. And I know my kids in particular look forward to coming. This is even after a week full of school. They want to come to Sunday school, and I think that says a lot. I really appreciate the care of the sanctuary by our newly minted Altar Guild team, and the praise that gets sung out by our very talented and inspiring praise team each and every week, and the anthems that the choir leads from time to time. And then our tech team, who despite little blurps here and there, (laughs) This is, um, are really helping us out to live stream our services and to spread what we're doing to the wider world. Um, when we hosted that concert in last year, um, the videos of that have gotten over 2,000 views, so inviting people to come into our sanctuary, into our spiritual home, and sharing that with the wider world, and that would not be possible without the team at the back. And then there's the focus on outreach, and to continue to keep the reaching out to our wider neighborhood and to keep that idea that we are to call to be servants to those in need front and center. And of course, there's the parish's love of eating. It's always fun to have a meal, and you guys do that quite well, and I appreciate it. And this coming year, we're going to be celebrating 95 years of worshiping here at this corner of St. Bede's and Westbourne Road. And as we continue this year to celebrate that and to look forward to our 100th anniversary, where we'll get to open the little box that's been waiting in the office for the 100th anniversary that was packed up so many years ago, here are some of the plans that we hope to have for the coming year. We're going to continue to improve our physical church, including renovating the chapel in the Sunday school rooms and nursery, And we're going to be able to do that thanks to a diocesan grant. And we'll hear more about that downstairs. Um, As you've heard, we're introducing a dedicated nursery program for infants and preschoolers. We're going to continue to enhance our musical offerings as we begin a musical ministry for youth that will kick off this year. Our website will finally be launched this spring. And we'll find other ways of promoting our parish through the use of social media. And you could read more about what we are doing currently through the communications report. We also have a new logo that has been approved by for our advisory board, which you will see on the cover of the bulletin and on the vestry report. We'll continue to refocus on greening our space and building up the three pillars of our outreach plan. And I'm pleased to announce that starting next week, we'll also be welcoming a volunteer administrator who will come to the church one or two mornings a week to assist with all the administration needs of the parish. And of course, we'll continue to eat and to feast and to pray and to celebrate together. And as I conclude my report, I just want to give thanks to all of you who have helped support me in this my first year especially to the corporation and the two wardens and the treasurer. They have provided wonderful counsel and assistance, and I could not be in the place I am without them, so thank you. And as we go together into the future as a parish, I really look forward to continuing to sit with, continue to build up our lives, our lives in the church upon his strong foundation, which he laid for us. To God be the glory, 